Oh, the chain slipped just now. Do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Just when all hope seemed lost, message of a nimbus to an unknown old great Friggin' Widowmaker here, boys, coming to you live all the way from the farm, and have we got a friggin' big job to do today. So I haven't been making videos for the last week, and here's why. I have been digging a hole through solid rock, and I'll guarantee you, it was not easy. Let's jump down there in the hole. Oh, oh. Every bone in my body is aching. Anyhow, yeah. She has been uh, a couple of days. This is day three. I have to take this boulder out of my hole. I'm not sure what the view in here is like. It's kind of dark. Let her adjust. I have to take those out of my hole. I have already taken all of these out of my hole. And you can see over there, I have a form. And that form is getting filled in with concrete for my addition. But right now I need to get this done. Yeah, it was not easy. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is a, a job and a half for sure. Anyhow, yeah. So, if you come into the silo, you can see I have an addition started. That's going to be done in the next few days. I just have to fill this in with concrete, let it cure. Then I can start putting up the walls here. Then I can finish upstairs, and uh, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. Other than, I wasn't going to make a video of this, but now I'm going to, because I'm going to teach you how to get that great big rock out of that really deep hole, with no crane yet again. And over this way, you can see, I had to dig a great big trench for my electrician to bury my power wire. It's been inspected and approved and uh, got filled back in. Anyhow, what we're working on now is this tank. I need a holding tank in the ground to keep my water thawed out. And uh, yeah, this is the one. All right, here we are. We are back at it again. We've moved all those rocks. They're all over there. I'm building a driveway of sorts. I'll explain later. And uh, that soil that was all here wasn't really soil, it was more like gravel. So it was better suited for over there too. And uh, here's what we have going on. We've got our handy dandy chain hoist block thing, whatever you call it. I always want to call it a chain block, but I don't think that's right. Anyhow, if you look way down there, we have what's probably a five or 600 pound boulder right in the way and then a couple of other ones that are way too heavy to lift out so we've wrapped a chain around them and we're going to yoink them out using our handy dandy chain block thingamajig anyhow we're going to set this camera up right now and we're going to show you how to make the impossible possible well not us this is new to me too i was about ready to buy some dynamite voice my dad told me don't do that do this so here we go we're getting her done today right Right, that's right. Okay, so you can see right now I have the boulder attached to my van. That's a good idea. Two thumbs up, 
tell Bull of the Woods in the comment section below what an awesome idea that was. To save me from trying to find dynamite at Walmart. Alright, so my hole is going to be a success. And I have to tell you, this really reminds me a lot of old school mining. Not that I was around back then, but when you swing a pickaxe for a few days, all you can think about is all the holes in the ground all over the world from people who worked really, really hard to make them. Anyhow, there you go. So I'm going to take these other two ones out. I'm not sure if I'll put them on video because the camera battery is kind of dying. I wasn't expecting anything dramatically cool today, but what was I thinking? There's always something dramatically cool around here. There's my truck, I mean my van, that I use like a truck. It's a minivan. You would never know that it's capable of doing all the stuff that I put it through though. I probably beat on my Chevy Astro GMC Safari more than anybody. Anyhow, down there I've got a hoe. As you can see, check it out. It's got a boulder missing, which is awesome. Here's your proof that that was a hard hole. I've got a splintered pickaxe and a broken shovel. Not good, not good at all. Anyhow, that's it for today's video. I am absolutely beat. We are going to bury this tank tomorrow. Then we're going to go buy a bunch of concrete again, mix that up, and uh, yeah, we'll get on to other things. So, as usual, comment, rate, subscribe, share the damn video, don't do anything we wouldn't do, and stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>